the Bible, natural law, and the Constitution, and the British order, what do that have to do with the Bahamian people, when everyone watched that gentleman on beyond the headline, saying, this all have to go back to the beginning, before 1973, so Bahamians all over the world, who got that viral video, start doing their research, thank God Raster. Dion Hanna is still alive, and Mr. Loftus Roker, because they can explain the events, what this gentleman is talking about, because the late Paul Adderley and Loftus Roker went to England to receive our documents. But when Loftus Roker saw what he was receiving, he say, you have to be joking. And he threw that down and walked out because everyone knows the people is the government. Because the document he is receiving is so plain in its language that a common man can understand that this British order retains the status quo of the pre-independence existing laws and deprives the Bahamian people of formulating its own constitution, enacted by the Bahamian parliament and people. So the elected officials today have to understand, Bahamians all over the world is working over time on the truth of their country and why it's in the state that it's in now. Should the constitution of the Bahamas remain a United Kingdom order or it be a document enacted by the Bahamian parliament and people? Should the constitution be amended in its current form? Or should it be replaced and superseded by an entirely new document? If we're going to move this country forward, we have to go back to the beginning.